I live in the desert and the only time I see snowflakes are if I cut them out of paper myself. Today I'm going to put a twist on that and use some scraps of fabric to make a snowflake Christmas card. Let's get started. I'm Andy and this is True Blue Quilts. In this 12 Days of Christmas series, I'm sharing small projects that you can finish quickly with fabric that you have on hand. Today's project is a greeting card with a stitched snowflake. I have a plain piece of fabric and cardstock and I am going to stitch a snowflake. I tried making the fun paper fold snowflakes that you remember from grade school and uh, those just looked pretty awful. Stick around for the blooper reel and I'll show them off. For my snowflake, I am going to stitch just kind of an asterisk pattern, but I'm going forward and then I'm just gonna come part way down and then I'm going to make a Y. Some little branches off the end of our snowflake there. And I'm just spinning that cardstock around to trace the path there to about the middle. And then we can go side to side again, almost to the edge of the fabric, come back a little ways and make that V or Y shape on the end of our snowflake arm. a very basic snowflake stitched on our cardstock that we are ready to add a Merry Christmas greeting and send this off to some friends for some holiday cheer. My very, very amateur looking snowflake. That was one attempt. Here is another attempt at a uh, hand cut snowflake from fabric. Did not work so well. But ha well, happy holidays, everybody. Instead of greeting cards, how about a full quilt? The Dancing Nine Patch series shows you the process of quilting from beginning to end. Check that video series out with the link on your screen. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.